Hello and welcome back to the channel. Recently, I uploaded my review on Route 66 Fraser Valley Express, which has done quite well on this channel. Now, some of you may be wondering what it's like to take transit from Chilliwack all the way to Vancouver. In this video, we're going to do just that. This journey takes us from Chilliwack at Yale at Spadina, through to Lougheed Station, and onto the Expo Line to downtown at Granville Station. Now, before we begin, let's do a bit of a historical background. The Fraser Valley Express began service in April 2015 after being approved almost a couple years prior. You could say that the service was essentially a regional response to the opening of the new Portman Bridge and the 555 highway bus connecting SkyTrain and Carvoth Exchange. In any case, the Fraser Valley Express was a success and increased from 73 to 232,000 yearly boardings from 2015 to 2019. The extension to Lougheed Station, which opened in spring 2022, greatly improved connectivity and convenience for regional riders. SkyTrain experienced major restructuring in 2016. That year, the Expo Line got another branch from Columbia to Production Way, and the Millennium Line extension to Coquitlam was opened, setting up Lougheed to be a major transportation hub. Fast forward to 2022, and 84 new Mark III SkyTrain cars entered service, greatly increasing capacity. From Lougheed Station, Brentwood and Coquitlam are no more than 15 minutes away, while a journey to Metrotown takes no more than 25 minutes. The presence of SkyTrain at Lougheed continues to be largely responsible for rapid transit-oriented development. This video was filmed not long after filming the review for Route 66. But for the sake of review, we board the service at Stop B at Yale at Spadina. The bus today is 9206, one of the oldest Novabus LFS units in the BC Transit fleet. This was one of a few transferred in from Abbotsford to help with the extension. These are slightly better than their 2014 counterparts as they have more forward-facing seating. The fare is $5 with no transfers to and from the local transit systems, including day passes. After sitting through a smooth ride and a major slowdown at Bradner, we arrive at Carvolth Exchange at 5.38. At this point, we are around 10 minutes behind schedule, but at this stop, a majority of passengers get off to transfer to other services. The 501 has scheduled trips to Surrey Central or Langley every 15 minutes at this time and every 30 minutes during off-peak times. And that leaves us with pretty much an empty bus since people can't get on this service. For service from Kabul to Lougheed, take the 555. Trust me, they have better seats on those buses. In any case, we continue west towards Lougheed Station. The extension west to Lougheed Station started less than a week before this was filmed. We kind of moved to a section of Highway 1 considered to be in the off-peak direction of travel. And I say that because this last section was completed without much delay. We arrive at Lougheed at around 6 o'clock, around 10 minutes later than the posted schedule. So, so far we have spent $5 on that first stretch from Carvel to Lougheed. The mall is a great pit stop for food, restrooms, and a decent place to kick back after sitting for so long. I will continue to downtown where it is another 35 to 40 minutes away by train. Now we'll be taking an Expo Line train heading into downtown instead of going by the Millennium Line. Reason being, not all viewers have the ability or willingness to make the transfer at Commercial Broadway. In fact, if I was a traveler looking to go to Horseshoe Bay or YVR from Chilliwack, I would recommend taking the Expo Line from here to save on one less transfer. In any case, for the fare into downtown, we will spend another 435 on a two-zone compass ticket as we are in Translink Zone 2 and are using SkyTrain to head into Zone 1. I'm using stored value on my compass card, so I actually save almost $1 compared to just paying 
paying cash in the ticket vending machine. But for those in the valley who seldom come out here to Metro Vancouver, buying the ticket at the vending machine is crucial for continuing the journey west. I don't want to spend too, too much time talking about fares, but whatever you do, never buy tickets on board any TransLink bus. Those do not allow access to SkyTrain. For more fare information, I will have that information in the description. The SkyTrain service to Waterfront leaves Platform 1 and we make our way through different hubs on our way to downtown. We reach New West in 15 minutes and Metro Town in 25 minutes. Now another issue I have is that the 90 minute fare window is not printed anywhere on the TransLink fare media aside from fares that are not valid on SkyTrain so it's really really up to the customer to keep track of the 90 minute transfer window. We're getting closer to downtown, so let's review the super long transit journey. The 66 could use better seating material, as we saw with the delay along Highway 1. I doubt people would even want to sit sideways for 100 minutes on a bus. Maybe on a train, that's okay, but for a bus, maybe not. But for $5 to travel 84 kilometers, you kind of get what you pay for. Plus, it's a ridiculous cost to pay to travel that distance on a bus. I also think that there should be luggage racks on this 66, but then again, these buses are also found on local routes, which doesn't seem like the best of use of resources. Low heat is my de facto recommendation for a pit stop to take a break between the journeys, as you then only have 90 minutes to complete your journey to Horseshoe Bay or YVR Airport. TransLink doesn't print the expiry dates on the tickets and leaves it up to the customer to keep track of time, so it's best to have a watch handy. Now some of you may be wondering about heading further south to Tuwasan Ferry Terminal. We'll talk about that a bit later as we do our final summary. At Granville Station, there are two ways to get up to where we need to be next to finish the journey. If you aren't carrying anything heavy, head to the middle of the platform and follow the crowd up the escalators and out to street level. If you are carrying some Something, head to the front of the train and turn right to see the elevator. That will get you to street level. Then turn left onto Granville Street and that will take you to Granville at Georgia. So in total, we have spent $9.35 and 2 hours 30 minutes heading from Chilliwack out to downtown Vancouver. $5 on 100 minutes on the 66 bus and another $4.35 on the 40 minute ride on the SkyTrain. And to add to that, we'll just add another 5 to 10 minutes to account for the walking and transfers. For bus service going to Horseshoe Bay and ferries to Nanaimo and Gibsons, take the 257 from this stop in front of the bay and it will be another 40 minute ride. For YVR Airport, head down the station entrance to the Canada Line. The ride should take another 25 minutes. And just a quick note, the reverse journey from the airport to Chilliwack actually costs $5 more due to a YVR Airport ad fare for a total of $14.35. However, that's nowhere as much as other more direct long distance buses. In terms of access to the Tawasan Ferry Terminal, that's kind of where it stretches out. The lack of a direct bus from Langley out to the ferries in Tawasan is a whole other mess which deserves its own separate video analysis. But for now, it's up to the rider to decide how to navigate going from Carvoth or Lougheed to the ferry terminal down in Tawasan. But since we're already here in downtown Vancouver, head to the Canada Line on any southbound train to Bridgeport Station. And yeah, wait for the next group of 620 buses heading south to Tsuwasan. I mean, River Rock wouldn't be too shabby of a waiting area. Anyways, I intended this video to be a quick summary rather than a step-by-step -step breakdown explaining fares and schedules. All the info can be found on the Translic website as well as on the BC Transit website. If you want more info, try accessing that through the Google Maps and using the transit options on there. What do you think could be done to improve regional transportation between the ferries, the airport, and places out east? Leave it in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.